Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Miss Ink Stamps and today we are going to be making a card using a stamp set from their latest release called Slim's Whims. And we're also going to be using two stencils from them as well, random dots and large random dots. So this is the stamp set here. We're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get this bad boy stamped out. Um, so that we could do some Copic coloring when that time comes. So we're going to go ahead and place this into the Misty. And we'll go ahead and get this, these little guys uh, inked up here. And I'm going to rub my hand on the stamps because I need to condition them so the ink sticks to it. We're going to go ahead and use some uh, black ink here that's safe for Copics. Uh, this is by Ink on 3. And now that we have these guys stamped out, we are going to cut this sheet in half. And then what I'm going to do is use the other half for the stenciling. So I have this cut at a smaller than a regular card base. I think it's four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to use the stencil here that I've sprayed with some uh, spray adhesive for it to stick. And I'm going to be using some Ink on 3 inks here. And I'm just going to cover this whole thing with the ink. I'll take that off and then we are going to put the uh, large random dots on. And what we're going to do is use the bee sting yellow here. And we're just going to cover that whole thing up. And once we get this done, you're going to see it's pink, it's orange, it's yellow. It's amazing is what it is. Check that out. It's a nice bokeh dots as I believe as they're referred to in photography. I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece of black cardstock down to be a base uh, for this card panel. And now once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and get that glued down. And I'm going to use some um, Barely Arts ink here, or Barely Arts glue, to get that glued down. And then next we're gonna do some Copic coloring. There's just gonna be a bunch of music, so enjoy the music. If for some reason uh, you don't wanna watch the coloring, then skip to five minutes and 31 seconds and it'll take you to the next step. Thank you.
Okay, now that we're back from coloring, we are going to go ahead and um, do some fussy cutting for this dog here. Originally, I wanted a white line around it, but then I kind of, when I was putting it on the card, I was like, uh, no, I want to I want to have the black line all the way around it. So I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut that around. And now I'm going to take a black marker here. It doesn't matter which one. Usually I just use a permanent marker. I use the black Copic here. And I'm just going to go along the sides so that it's all black all the way around. Um, I didn't really want any of the white core of the paper showing through. So now that we have that done, we are going to go ahead and get the sentiment stamped out. And we're going to be using the sentiment from uh, the stamp set that says, You're, you're my favorite human, <laughs> which is cute. Uh, we're also going to use the same uh, ink here to go ahead and get this cut out or I'm sorry, stamped out. And then what we're going to do is once we're done with that, we are going to get a sentiment die to get this cut out. Now, as you can see here, I'm getting the sentiment die. I'm going to go ahead and get that taped down and we'll go ahead and put it through the machine. Show you guys something here up close. I actually added some acetate to the glasses of the dog and I wanted to show that to you here. So what I did was I just put a piece of acetate behind the glasses and then cut that out. And it just gives a little bit of detail. You can't really tell in the photos that I've taken of it, but if you were to give this person, give this to a person in real life, they would actually be able to see uh, that the dog has lenses on it, which I think is pretty much just adorable. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the glasses glued down, and if you take a look there at my head, you'll see that the glasses actually match the glasses that I have on. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and get this guy placed on the card. I'm trying to do some spacing to see where I want things to be, and then I'm going to go ahead and glue down the little bow tie here, which also matches the dog's glasses. And now that we have the bow tie down, we are going to go ahead and put some 3M foam tape on the back of the dog and the sentiment so that we can get those placed down onto the card base. Uh, by the way, the card base will be 110 pound Nina Solar White uh, cardstock. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove the backing from all of the 3M foam tape on the back of the dog. And we're going to use the tweezers just so that I can get the dog placed evenly onto the card. I have big old man hands and sometimes I get them messed up here. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and place the sentiment down onto the card. I did have some 3M foam tape on the back of that as well so it'll pop up along uh, with the dog. I had a little trouble there, it was a little crooked but I got it worked out. And now we're going to go ahead and get this glued down to the uh, to the card, I'm sorry, the card base. Ooh, I can't get my words out today, you guys, which is 110 pound Nina Solar White cardstock. Um, that's what I use for card bases. It's firm. It works. It's great. And then pretty much this card is done. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to pull out um, some sequins here. Um, they're just some random sparkly sequins, and I'm going to place them onto the card. And then I'm going to use my jewel picker here along with some glue and we'll go ahead and get those down onto the card. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I truly appreciate um, Miss Ink Stamps inviting me to be a guest designer for them. Truly appreciate it. Make sure that you head over to their website and check out all their awesome products. Um, you can also check some of the links down in the description. If you see some things that you like, you can click that link and head over and do all your buying and all that great stuff. Um, also, be sure to check them out over on Instagram and any other social media platforms. And you can also find me on Instagram and YouTube by searching for Bro Merrill Cards. Okay, so we have, we're adding the finishing touches to the card here. We have everything glued down. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. And you guys have a wonderful and great week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.